The next band we've got coming to the stage here at the 51st Annual Bill Monroe Bean Blossom Bluegrass Tommy, Festival. These folks have appeared on the Grand Ole Opry almost 200 times. They've had three Grammy nominations, and they've won IBMA Entertainers of the Year a couple of times. It's great to have them here at the Bill Monroe Bean Blossom Bluegrass Festival. Would you welcome to the stage with a big round of applause, the Grass Skulls. Give them a hand, folks. Three, four. Sweet baby's arm, 
Rolled in the sweet baby's arms They ran the shack till now train comes back And roll in the sweet baby's arms Shoulder. You can bet it ain't 
you standing there? No, I'm tired of pretending, cause pretending gets me nowhere. It's crazy thinking that you ever care. That's why. I don't plan on leaving it again Cause we paid the cost of love and loss I don't want to go back where I've been Where I've been is a love that you left But forgive and forget Just let go and get back together Cause I know better
If you don't give hers back, I'll lose my Play loud music on the drain. 
hard liquor on a chase while women tonight's my night to hell And I'm getting pretty tired of it Keep stepping out of line And messing with my mind If you had any sense, you'd quit Ever since you were a little bitty teeny girl Said I was the only man in this whole world Now you better do some thinking Then you'll find you got the Only daddy that'll walk the line I keep on working every day All you want to do is play And I'm tired of staying out all night I'm coming out from your funny little mood, now I'm babe, and ain't right. Ever since you were a little bitty teeny girl, said I was the only man in this whole world. Now you better do some thinking, then you'll find you got the only daddy that'll walk the line. this evening? How's everybody else doing this evening? That's great, sure. It's sure great to be up here. I've been here all week and uh, I've been dying to get up here and, and actually play with my band. It's, uh, it's great to be here and uh, I see we got some of the folks up here. Uh, uh, Grasco tonight are being brought to you by uh, Rude Dog Hill. How many Rude Dog folks we got in here tonight? Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're representing for us real good tonight. <laughs> That's it. We were up there last night jamming and had a really great time picking up there and appreciate everybody out here tonight. Bandit. <laughs> Bandit. That's right. Bandit, you need to get your Elkridge hat on. You know that? Hey, All Bandit's right. representing now. Bandit's are... I appreciate you wearing ours, but you need to get the Elkridge hat on. <laughs> Bandit there. Everybody give Bandit a hand. He's like our right-hand man when we're here. He's a... He always is right there to take care of us, and we appreciate him. We appreciate this park. We appreciate all of y'all being here tonight. We, uh, we're going to do some songs. We've had a lot of requests. We're going to try to get to those. We've had, uh, we're going to do songs off of our latest CD. We'll do some songs off our older CDs, and we'll do some songs that aren't on any CDs at all. So uh, just bear with us. No telling what we might do. If you got any requests, yell them out. And if we know them, we'll try to do them. If we don't know them, you never know. Eldridge is liable to try to do anything sometimes. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right now, let me uh, let me inter introduce the fellow there. Wearing, he got on one of the pretty shirts down there tonight. He decided to go. Isn't that, isn't that fancy? Looking mighty good. Founding member of the Graskels. He's uh, he started uh, one of those guys started his career very young on the Grand Ole Opry with Lonzo and Oscar, and uh, spent 12 years with Bobby and Sonny, the Osborne brothers. Founding member of this group, and uh, just one of the finest singers, one of the finest folks, one of the most recognizable voices in our business. Not only as a singer, but also on the radio, if anybody here, any folks ever listen to Bluegrass Junction, Sirius XM? 
You hear that guy about every three songs jumping in there. He pushes Kyle out of the way and says something, but just a great guy. And if you'll make him welcome right here, if you would, Mr. Terry Eldridge. That's Terry Eldridge right there on that guitar. Elrod. Thank you, Big Nano. I appreciate that. And howdy, Indiana. I'm glad to be back to where I came from. God bless you all. Here's a song kind of fit that. It's called Two Boys on the Back Road. Yeah. Kicking cans and doing everything else. <laughs> Three, four. <laughs> Two boys on a dirt road Kicking cans and telling jokes Nothing much behind them Up ahead just lots of hope The sun is brightly shining And the sky is a perfect blue We're two boys on a dirt road One is me and one is you One went off to college And one went on the road One gained lots of knowledge and one found him a soul One met him a lady And one met him a lot One was glad to settle down But the other one could not Some dirt roads turn into a sidewalk Lead up to a small house with a picket fence Some dirt roads turn into a state route Maybe where the sun is shining and the sky's a perfect blue. We're two boys on a dirt road, one was me and one was you. Now the one still plays the guitar and lives his life on wheels. One he plays the market on hunches that he feels One now raising babies And the one still raising cane But they both say someday I'll see you my old friend Some dirt roads turn into a sidewalk Lead up to a small house with a picket fence Some dirt roads turn into Highway, I wonder where it ends. Maybe where the sun is shining and the sky is a perfect blue. With two boys on a dirt road, one was me and one was you. Maybe when the sun is shining and the sky is a purple blue With two boys on the dirt road, one was me and one was you Get this banjo player to play one for us. What do y'all think? All right. First, introduce her to you. She's she's been a Grassical now for about nine years, and uh, we uh, I actually was told that uh, had folks come up to me earlier this week, and she uh, that she was leaving the band, and and also that uh, we had offered the job to somebody else, and he turned it down. I was like, well, that's funny, because uh, we hadn't offered the job to nobody. And as far as I know, she's not leaving because we told her she ever tried to leave. It was the grass schools or death, so I, she's pretty alive, looks to me like. Doing a great job. No, she is definitely one of the finest banjo pickers on this planet. We're a privilege to have her here, one of the finest people you'd ever meet. She is the four-time IBMA and four-time Spigma Banjo Player of the Year. And uh, that's right, you can give her a hand for that. She, uh, she is just uh, absolutely one of the finest. Make her welcome, Miss Kristen Scott Benson right there. That's Kristen Benson. <laughs> That's right, Chris Bits. 
I, I mentioned a little earlier about our latest CD that uh, we've had, and we, and we do appreciate you folks. Uh, our last CD that was out, um, eight of the first 12 months it was out, it was, it was number one on the Bluegrass album charts, and we sure appreciate you folks buying the CD and requesting the CD. It did great for us, and she also put a new CD out this year that did really good for her, and it was doing so well they decided that they need to make a book for it. So she went out and took that <laughs> CD and put all the music that was in that CD in a book, all the banjo stuff. They tabbed it and put the music. Then they put a CD inside that book with no banjo on it. So you can buy her banjo book, sit there, it'll probably take you 15, maybe 20 minutes, and you can learn to play exactly like the four-time IBMA Banjo Player of the Year, just like that. So uh, anybody that wants to do that, get that book and learn to do that stuff because we might need to get a fill in if she goes ahead and runs off on us like that. But uh, we don't think we're going to let her go anywhere. Yeah, get a good picture right there. So, Come on, hey, is it going to break that camera? <laughs> Lady, you got to hold it down. Hold it, hold no, that's all right. <laughs> as soon as she gets done with uh, the photo session, we're going to get her to pick one for you right here. Snake. It's a great old Earl Scruggs number that she does a mighty fine job on. I'll call it the Lonesome Ruby. Kristen Benson right there, folks. All right, we'll, uh, let's go ahead and get a uh, song off our newest CD, Get Eldridge to Do This. A great story song, a friend of ours in Nashville, Mr. Jeffrey East, wrote this song. He went out on the road with us, actually was in the back of the bus, got his guitar out and sat down and wrote this song. He said he wrote it about us, wrote it for us, and uh, we got this thing recorded, and it's one of my favorite things we've done in a long time. I don't think anybody does a story song any better than Mr. Eldridge over here. And uh, we'll get him to sing this one. It's, uh, it's kind of about being on the road, I guess, because it's called The Road of Life. Yeah. 
What happens on the road in life stays on the road in life, my friend. Yeah, the best you can do is look ahead to where you're going, not where you've been. And that rear view mirror's full of things you can't turn around and try again. Cause what happens on the road of life stays on the road of life, my friend. There'll be deter signs and flashing lights that lead the paths you really shouldn't take. With twisting curves at every turn And bridges that you burn along the way What happens on the road of life Stays on this road of life, my friend Whenever you find love Better open up your heart and let it in And buckle up and hold on tight and enjoy the ride right till the end. Yeah, what happens on the road of life stays on this road of life, my friend. With twisting curves at every turn And bridges that you burn along the way What happens on the road of life Stays on this road of life, my friend Yeah, the best you can do is look ahead To where you're going, not where you've been Your beer mirror's full of things You can't turn around and try again Cause what happens on the road of life Stays on the road of life, my friend What happens on the road of life Stays on the road of life, my friend on that road of life right there. This next song, I've been here all week and this next song is definitely the theme song of this park. Another great old Austin Brothers song called Up This Hill and Down. Yeah. Up this hill and down and up this hill again Up this hill and down and up this hill again It's a mighty, mighty long road what ain't got no end? Well, it's five o'clock in the morning and twelve o'clock at night. Well, it's five o'clock in the morning and twelve o'clock at night. Now I work so hard to live, but I ain't got no life. Well, if a woman doesn't kill you, she'll drive you insane. Well, if a woman doesn't kill you, she'll drive you insane. Well, this love's about Sure do love the pain. Ah! 
seems that everything bad just hangs around with me. Up this hill and down. <laughs> Well, there you go. Getting free hats up here. If y'all got any hats you want to give away, I guess give them to this lady and then she'll give them to us. Uh, we, had, we had a request. Um, John here. Let me first, let me introduce this guy to you right here. Fellow right here next to me. He's the one that you hear up here singing the, uh, the uh, high, the, 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 girl, the sissy part, um, the girls part, the, the soprano. All right. Soprano part. Anyway, he's the man that sings like a woman. Everybody's got to have somebody that looks like a man and sings like a woman, and he's our feller right there. Does a great job. He's from over in Boone, North Carolina. He was up there on the mountain hiding behind a rock. We roped him, dragged him out, and brought him down here, and we're tickled to death to have him. One of the finest young singers in our business today. We're just so proud to have him in this group, and uh, just one of the uh, finest fellas you could ever want to travel with, too. If you wouldn't, make him welcome right here, Mr. John Bryan. It's John Bryan on here. Don't let get Thank y'all. That's right, John Bryan. Thank you. We were out in uh, Branson, Missouri a few weeks ago, and uh, we were doing three sets a day at, at uh, Silver Dollar City, and we had an early morning set, and John said, I got a song on my heart. Do you mind if I sing it? And we said, we're going to give you the stage and let you sing it. He did that in every show we've done since. We've had several people request it, so um, we're going to let him get up here. I don't know what he's going to do for you, but I'm sure it'll be a great old gospel song. So John Bryan right here. Thank you all. I had a request uh, walking up here for this, and so we'll try to get it for you. Uh, it's an old song to me, but I'm not very old, so that's not, uh, it's not necessarily saying a whole lot. But uh, it's one Ronnie Bowman wrote, one called The Lord Is My Light. Well, after I tune this thing. The Lord leads me on the pathway to heaven. And though sometimes I feel in this world all alone, still He walks with me. I'm never forsaken. And when this life is over, he'll lead me home. The Lord is my life. He's my salvation. He's leading the way for life stormy sea. Though the waters rage on, I know I can trust him. For safe in his arms there forever I'll be If you'll just have faith I know he will lead you Across the dark rivers that troubles your soul Will his blood pay the price For our salvation and his love will lead you wherever you go. The Lord is my life. He's my salvation. He's leading the way for life's stormy sea. Though the waters rage on, I know I can trust him. For safe in his arms there forever I'll be. For safe in his arms there forever I'll be. John Bryan right there. We're going to have to get him up on the root hill. Get him to sing some of you guys. <laughs> Do that for sure. All right. Well, we'll get uh, 
Tell you what, let's do a good Bill Monroe song here then. Uh, John, get you to do this. Yeah, that's, um, when John came to the group, he was singing this song, and we liked it so much, we had to have him record it. So it's on our latest CD, and we are at, uh, at Bill Monroe's Music Park right here, so yes. we better get this good Bill Monroe song in. It's kind of a sorrowful tune, and John's kind of a sorrowful person, so we'll get this one. It's one called Down That Highway of Sorrow. time to do about one more song so uh, I better introduce this fella right here before we get out here on this fiddle I know he's no stranger to the hill and uh, he may be back up there again too originally from up in Ohio lived for a while in Kentucky now living up in northern Tennessee right outside of Nashville Tennessee if you'll make him welcome right there Mr. Adam Haynes it's Adam Haynes on that fiddle And I'll take just a second here to introduce the mandolin player to you. He's, uh, he's originally from the state of Kentucky and now makes his home outside Nashville, Tennessee. He is, without a doubt, one of the best mandolin players I believe that anybody here I ever have the opportunity to get to, to get to hear. And he's one of the nicest people I, ever, I believe you'll ever get to meet. If you can will, make a big old loud bean blossom welcome for Danny Roberts on the mandolin. <laughs> Better go ahead and uh, introduce this fella that's going to do the last song for you here. I better tune this first because it's close enough. This guy right here is another alumni of the Osborne Brothers. 13 years of Bobby and Sonny of the Osborne Brothers. Started his career on the Grand Ole Opry with Wilma Lee Cooper and uh, traveled on the road with Jimmy Martin. He traveled on the road with Bill Monroe, worked on the farm with Bill Monroe right here on this place with Mr. Monroe many times. One of the finest fellas, one of the finest bass players on this planet, Mr. Terry Smith right here. Make him welcome. Terry Smith. Tell them what we're going to end this set with, Smitty. We'd like to close this set out with an old Osborne brother number. We're very big fans of those guys. This is one called Hear That Lonesome Whistle. Blow some. I'm leaving now, but my mind's already gone. I'll be there 
for certain is five and Raymond he is headed home. Can't you hear that whistle blow, son? Mama's got hot biscuits on. Can't you hear that whistle blow, son? Thank you all. Thank you all so much. We, uh, all right. Thank you, folks. We, uh, we're going to get, uh, there's a lot of requests we can't get to. We'll get to this one right here. Um, hang on one second. Okay. We're going to do this song. This is the first song we ever recorded. Had uh, a lot of folks request to do this. It was the song was great to us because uh, we were in the studio re recording this song when Miss Dolly Parton heard it, and uh, from that is why she called us, and we ended up traveling and being her band for a couple years, and uh, that was a really good time. That's right. <laughs> she was a she was a sweet little lady to travel with, and was a a good chick singer to have with the Grascals. We we enjoyed it. It was tough when we had to tell her when we had to cut her loose. It was, it was a hard day when we sat her down and we said, Dolly, you know, we really enjoy having you with us and everything, but um, we're afraid that if you keep staying here with the Graskels, you're just going to get known as a Graskels chick singer and lose your whole identity. So you need to go ahead and part ways from us so that you don't hurt your career. We'd like to see you grow. And, uh, I don't know if y'all have heard of her or not. She's done pretty good. Uh, you know, believe it or not, there's a lot of truth in what I just told you, but unfortunately, it was the other way around. She was afraid we was going to get known as her chick singer, so, uh, but no, she did. She was great to us in every way, and this song, uh, a songwriter by the name of Harley Allen wrote this song, and uh, it was the IBMA song of the year that year, and uh, anybody that's ever been in the military, how many, how many folks we have that's been in the military? Yeah, well, give, give them a great big hand, everybody. We sure appreciate you all. You're the reason we can be here tonight, and we appreciate that. So anybody that's ever been in the military, had family in the military, or grew up with a couple of buddies, this song right here will definitely touch and pull at your heartstrings. It's one called Me, John, and Paul. Johnny lived next door to me. Paul lived down the block. We'd meet each day at my house sharp at six o'clock. We'd race our bikes to school. Paul would always win. Johnny said that's cause we're nine and Paul, he just turned ten. First day of high school on the way to my first class. Three football players said they wouldn't let me pass. I set the bucks down and I rolled up my sleeves And then I noticed there were two boys next to me It was me and John and Paul, the 
best friend she ever saw. All for one and one for all. It was me and John and Paul. I wonder why they call it graduation day. More like a funeral for you to pass away. Johnny said he's leaving for the army in two weeks. Johnny said, let's go to town and make some memories. It was me and John and Paul, the best friends you ever saw. All for one and one for all. It was me and John and Paul. I flew up to Tennessee to visit him once more Didn't shock me none to hear that he'd been brave He'd lost his own life, but another one he'd saved well, I waited by a tree till everyone had left And I went up, said a prayer when my pal slept and then I heard a voice I hadn't heard in years Didn't need to turn around and knew Just who was there It was me and John and Paul The best friends you ever saw All for one and one for all It was me and John and Paul It was me and John and Paul The best friends you ever saw all for one and one for all It was me and John Paul Thank you folks so much Dripping mic and all We appreciate it They actually tell us we got time We're going to do another song for you here if you don't mind <laughs> I do want to say that Tomorrow night to close out the festival The Grascals will be back up here and it's going to be, uh, be the big jam. So anybody that wants to play or sing, come back here and get in line and get up and join up. We're just going to have a great time, close out this festival. Maybe we'll just make a, a tradition that we close this thing out that way every year. Last year we did it last year and had a great big time. This year we plan to have even a bigger one. So y'all come out. We'll be up here at the CD table when we get through. And uh, come on up and shake and howdy with us a little bit. be great to see you. We're going to go out with a good fiddle tune right here. So anybody that wants to dance, this is good. And get your dancing shoes on. Adam's fixed to tear us up. One call, the back up and push. One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you.
folks Thank so much for the Grascals. Y'all have a great night. Thank you all God so much. Bless you. Have you enjoyed the Grascals? More. Hey, folks, come back and give them another. Come on back out here, Grascals. y'all so much. We sure appreciate that. Everybody like George Jones? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can't do a little bit of George Jones right here for you. There you go. We'll sing about something I, I think I've seen flowing around here a little bit. Here. Okay, I think so. All right. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Rude dogs. This for you. This for you all, all right? Two, three, four. In North Carolina, way back in the hill, lived my old pappy and he had him distilled. He grew white lightning till the sun went down. Fill him a jug and he passed it around. Mighty, mighty, please, and claps, corn squeezes. <laughs> Yahoo, white lightning. Well, the G-Man team and Riveters too, searching for a place where they made his brew. They were looking, trying to look him, but my pappy. Now I asked my pappy why I called his crew. White lightning still a mountain dew. Took a little sip and right away I knew. As my eyes bulged out and my face turned blue. Lightning started to flash. Well, the team and team and revenues too Searching for a place where they made his crew They were looking, trying to book it But my bad pepper cooking Shh, yahoo, wild lightning Hit the ground, mighty, mighty, please, and paps, corn squeezes. Shh, yahoo, I like it. Well, the G Man team and revenues too, searching for a place where they made his crew. They were looking, trying to book him, but my pap kept on cooking. Shh, no, sir. Yeah, why I like it. Thank you, folks. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much. One more time for the Grasco. What a great job.